University Elementary School. It's a happy day to celebrate another successful chapter in the lives of our pupils. Let us all rise for the entrance of colors. Let us remain standing as we all welcome the graduating pupils of Batch 2014-2015 with their beloved parents, our University President, Dr. Teodoro C. Robles, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Feli Chin, Vice President for Finance and Enterprise, Ms. Florence Bugascia, our Acting Principal, Ms. Susan C. Herga, faculty, staff, and guests in the processional.
like also to welcome the faculty of the CPU Elementary School. Once again, a warm welcome to our president, Dr. Chidoro C. Robles, Dr. Carmen P. Santos, our CPU Elementary School Consultant, v Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Felicin, Vice President for Finance and Enterprise, Dr. Florence Bogasia, our Acting Principal, Ms. Susan C. Herga, and of course, our esteemed speaker, Attorney Noel Susan Jr. Shall we remain standing for our invocation and our national anthem? The invocation will be led by our assistant chaplain for student recruitment and college placement, science management, Pastor Alfred C. Morales, to be followed by the national anthem to be led by Ms. Samantha Kelly Baines, Ms. CPUES 2014, to be escorted by Prince Nasser Magno, our Mr. CPU ES 2014. Let us pray. You are the core of this graduation celebration, O oh God. You have been faithful in caring for our needs and maintaining the bond of love in our families, in our school, in our churches, and in the community where we belong. Almighty God, may you spur in us courage in every endeavor. Look upon your graduating pupils, O Lord. Dear kids, trust God's grace because your future lies in God's caring hands. Lord, we surely know that we want security based on love, peace, and equality, and we found all these in your presence. Make us your instrument, O Lord, in transforming unjust systems that enslave people and use us to give hope to those who are blessed in life. In every victory we savor, make us humble. In every defeat we take, strengthen us to rise above it. As United Centralians, take hold of what is good. Be courageous to stand fast to the right. Let love be our companion and reconciliation, our constant friend. And as we take on the strength for enduring, the trust for believing in the daily unfolding and in the bright light of knowing, that we may be able to know more of you, your will for us. May we begin this graduation celebration to magnify your name, O Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth, and become the chains, the good chains, that we want to be as we see something good with each other. Bless every part of this program, the speakers, and most of all, those who have come 
to give more meaning and significance to this graduation ceremony. For your glory and honor, we utter this prayer. Amen. May now be seated. At this time, let us listen to Dr. Chidoro Sirobles, President of this University, for his words of welcome. Vice President Dr. Florence Bogasia. Dr. Philip Chin, the Vice President for Academic Affairs, our guest speaker, Attorney Noel Shusan, our basic education consultant, Dr. Carmen Santos, our registrar, Ms. Ruth Fernandez, our as associate chaplain, uh, Pastor Alfred Morales, the acting principal of the elementary school, Ms. Susan Herga, parents and family members of our graduating students, faculty and staff of the elementary school, alumni and graduating pupils of our elementary school. A pleasant morning to all of you. And indeed, we are grateful for the rain that cooled off today. Six years seem to be gone very quickly. Dear graduates, can you still remember your first day in class during your first grade? Surely you were all excited to start your elementary schooling. In your six years at CPU Elementary School, you learned new things, started new friendships. You were taught to develop your skills and talents. You were talents to be excellent in all you did and will be doing. Most importantly, you were taught Christian values. These values will guide you as you move on to the next level of academic training. May you also keep in your heart the core values of our university, which are faith, character, justice, stewardship, and excellence. When you leave these values, heed your parents' advice and seek the wisdom of the Lord, and you will be successful in your endeavors. I commend the parents and families of our graduates and the able men and women of the CPU Elementary School for their dedication, for the support, encouragement for our students. Your unconditional love and support for these young gentlemen and ladies have made their academic journey more memorable. Graduates, congratulations. Remember, though, that there will still be more years of learning. Have courage to discover what the world has to offer, yet never sacrifice your Christian values. Hold on to the Lord, 
for he will never let you go. I warmly welcome you all to the 86th graduation program of the Central Philippine University Elementary School. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bless, for that warm welcome and greetings. Frederick Mitch Biso, second honors of this class, will give now his welcome address. Success never comes before work, except in the dictionary. To our university president, Dr. Chidoro Robles, our principal, Ms. Susan C. Herga, our PTA, our PTA president, Engineer Ray L. Balogo, our, our basic education consultant, Dr. Carmen P. Santos, to our guest speaker, Engin uh, Attorney Noel C. Shosan, to the member of the faculty and staff, parents, friends, guests, to my fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to everyone. Indeed, today is a special day because it's graduation day, a day of happiness, a bit of sadness, and importantly, a day of gratefulness. I feel very happy to see all of you, my, my fellow graduates, because for me, you are like sparkling jewels, so precious, and this auditorium serves as the jewelry box. Today, I would like to see all of you enjoying this wondrous day. This day is a day of happiness. I remember that all the way from grade one up to grade five, I was always with honors. I felt that reaching higher is like an obstacle course. Each course serves as the problems you must face and when you fall, you fail. But you must not worry because the meaning of fail is first attempt in learning. I think all of us remember that during our dedication service last February. Reaching higher can also be compared as a dartboard. Focus on your target and you will claim it. If you will not focus, you will not obtain what you want. And in general, Reaching higher needs concentration. When the result in the top 10 of grade six was revealed, I was very happy that time. For me, it was a blessing. Since that moment, I also realized my weakest and my strongest point. Because of that, my hard work paid off. Actually, all our hard work paid off. My dear batchmates, you did a good job. You completed all the homeworks projects, and exams given by the teachers. Well, some are hard and others are very easy. You studied very well and you made it here. We made it here. Aside from happiness, this truthful day is accompanied by a bit of sadness. If we can recall our happiest moments together, we don't want to leave each other behind. All the moments we shared and spent together, like playing, bonding, and having fun, are some of the memories we never want to forget. And when we leave elementary and set foot to high school, accept it or not, we must say goodbye to some that we hold dear, but say hello to new friends. A new chapter of life awaits right outside this auditorium. The portals are now open and ready to pick us up. Because of this, I want to thank my classmates and schoolmates for supporting me. I felt very happy because all of us are tied up like a single knot bonded together to form a family. Without you guys by my side, I would never be here speaking in front of you. You guys are the very best of all. I love you all so much and you would remain in our hearts. Graduation day is most importantly the day of gratitude. To the members of the faculty and staff, I want to thank you all, Ma'am Kao Singh, Ma'am Villones, Ma'am Sorilla, Ma'am Acervo, Ma'am Ines, and Ma'am Saladar. I thank you all for being our first advisors. You serve as our margins in life in every trial. You were also our Christian education teachers. You taught us the good manners and the right conduct to show to others. To the English teachers like Sir Gahe, Ma'am Transe, and Ma'am Agrizada, Thank you for teaching us how to speak well in English. 
My gratitude also sp spreads to the math and science teachers like Mom Ambid, Mom Zante, Mom Castroverde, Mom Villa, and Mom Valencia because you taught us the basic and the advanced math science lessons. For Mom Limbungan, Mom Jimena, and Sir Villaris, who became our Filipino teachers. Thank you for teaching us to speak fluently in our own language. I am also grateful for the MCEP, EPP, HECASI, and computer teachers like Mom Plana, Mom Espada, Mom Albestor, and Sir Soto, Sir Sunier, and Sir Crasco. Most importantly, I want to thank our beloved principal, Ms. Susan C. Herga, for telling us what to do because you know what is best for us and for the school. You've been there every time. For the members of the staff, thank you for showing your kindness. To all the members of the CPUES faculty and staff, I salute you all as a sign of respect and gratitude for what you have done for us. For my parents, thank you for supporting me. Caring, guiding, encouraging, helping, and loving. Mama, Papa, you are like my stronghold, my foundation and my fortification. You encourage me in everything I do. To my big brother, Manong said, thank you for the fun time. When I felt down, you lighted my mood. You helped me in my studies and trained me in my presentations and projects. To Lolo, Mamang, and Tita Tin, thank you for your support. You helped me when I needed help. As a sign of gratitude, I want to express my love to you all through this. My fellow graduates, graduation is the breaking of new grounds. Before ending my speech, I would like to remind you that the end is not the end. Have courage and be kind. In the bright side of the future, we may still see each other. Leave footprints when stepping forward. Those footprints will serve as our guide when you want to recall the past memories we had. As we leave this place later on, let us remember that we are not alone because we remain in each other's heart. Above all, my deepest gratitude goes to the Almighty God. Lord, you gave us everything we needed. In this moment of time, in behalf of the graduates, I welcome you all to the 86th graduation program of the Central Philippine University Elementary School. Let us sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you for being part of this, and once again, good morning. God bless, and have a very nice day. Thank you, Mitch, for that address. At this time, we are privileged to have a special number from a CPU Elementary School alumna, Batch 1997. She is no other than Engineer Mary Ann Soto Santiago.
Thank you, Marianne, for that wonderful, beautiful number. Ms. Susan C. Herga, our acting principal in CPU Elementary School, will now introduce our guest speaker. It is a great honor and a privilege to introduce our speaker for this year's graduation ceremony. Our speaker is Attorney Noel C. Shosan Jr. He is a lawyer and a certified public accountant by profession. A true-blooded, blue-blooded Centralian because he studied at Central Philippine University from his kindergarten years until his post baccalaureate studies. He graduated with honors in high school. He was also active in co-curricular activities where he has honed his academic and artistic skills. He took up Bachelor of Science in Accountancy and was active in school politics wherein he was elected representative of the then College of Commerce, now College of Business and Accountancy. And he was elected senator of the CPU Republic, successfully balancing a life of academics and extracurricular activities in the year 2000, he graduated cum laude and received the highest award given by this university to a graduating student, the Alton Biglow Memorial Alma Mater Award. He was also one of the first recipients of the Loyalty Award that was introduced that year to honor those students who studied in CPU from kindergarten to college. In the year 2001, he fulfilled his dream. And that dream is to become a certified public accountant. In search of additional knowledge, Attorney Shosan took up Bachelor of Laws in, his, in this university and graduated in the year 2006. And that same year, he took the bar examinations and he passed it. He was admitted to the Philippine Bar in April 26, 2007. While he was in law school, he was active in student government and became governor of the College of Law and vice chairman of the Order of Kalanchao, the equivalent of the student council in the College of Law. He is now finishing his Master's of Law from San Beda College Graduate School of Law. At present, he is a professor at Central Philippine University College of Business and Accountancy, teaching accounting, business law, and taxation, and has taught on several occasions at Thai Nguyen University of Economics and Business Administration, Thai Nguyen City, Socialist Republic of Vietnam, under the cooperation agreement of CPU and Tueba. At the same time, he is also a part-time lecturer at the College of Law of this university, Teaching Taxation Law Review. Attorney Shosan is also actively practicing his legal 
and accounting professions. He had worked in one of the leading microfinance thrift banks in Iloilo City and served in various capacities, including being the legal officer, security officer, and assistant corporate secretary until he left in 2011 to join his former law school classmates to form the Bisana Malones Sanchez Shosan Law Offices. He is active in various organizations. He is a member of the National Association of Certified Public Accountants in Education, elected Corporate Secretary of CPU Alumni Incorporated, or CPU AAI, and was recently elected one of the Board of Directors of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, Iloilo Chapter, for the year 2015 to 2017. Presently, he is a member of the Personal Committee of the Convention of Philippine Baptist Churches Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, let us fold our hands and welcome our speaker today, Attorney Noel C. Shosan Jr. May I request all the graduating pupils to please rise. And again, may I request you graduating pupils to give a round of applause to our speaker today. President uh, Chudoro C. Robles, Dr. Feli Chin, Dr. Florence Bugasha, Dr. Carmen P. Santos, the basic education consultant of uh, elementary school, the members of the faculty and staff of elementary school, alumni, proud parents, guardians, and graduates, the real honorees in this morning's special occasion. Good morning. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of you graduates of Central Philippine University Elementary School for having accomplished this milestone in your lives. Congratulations as well to your parents who worked extremely hard to make this day possible and to the teachers for their dedication in imparting their knowledge and wisdom to you. It is an honor to be your inspirational speaker today. It is my pleasure as well, because this brings back fond memories from over 20 years ago when I was sitting in your place and listening to the commencement speaker. It's nice to rekindle memories and see familiar faces, especially teachers who have also been my mentors and classmates who are now parents of graduating students. You know who you are. As kids, I am sure you're fond of stories. Some of you have even asked your parents to read to you bedtime stories before you go to sleep. Am I correct? Or maybe not? Now, dear children, my message for you this morning is not a bedtime story. So please, do not fall asleep. I am sure you love playing games, whether computer, or mobile phone games. Growing up, I too love playing those games. For those of us that grew up in the 90s, we will remember Nintendo, Super Mario, Mortal Kombat, and so on. Today, in the age of modern technology, smartphones, tablets, and iPads, you now have 
Temple Run, Diamond Blitz, Candy Crush, Angry Birds, and of course, Clash of Clans. You're guilty of that, just to name a few. Most often, your parents and teachers would tell you that playing too much of these games is bad for you. They are correct. Everything should be done in moderation. And your studies should always be your topmost priority. However, there are also life lessons that we can learn from these games. One lesson that I have learned is that there's always a need to understand one's purpose in life. Every game comes with its underlying purpose. And without understanding this, you will be playing the game without achieving anything. Take Candy Crush, for example. Candy Crush. Wow. For you to pass a level, you need to perform a task, meaning there is a purpose to fulfill. Just like in life, we too must find our purpose, why God created us, so that we will know what path to take to fulfill that purpose. Sometimes, when we play Candy Crush or Angry Birds or any other games, we get stuck on a particular level, just in the same way as we get stuck in life and in our studies. To move on from one level to another, you must always devise a strategy. Because when you play a game without definite strategy, you stay longer on that level unless you get lucky. Same thing with our lives. We should not wait for luck to come to us. We need to have a strategy to move from where we are now to where we want to be. In the same way, that if we want to pass your exams and get high scores, you must also make a plan and develop a strategy on how to study your subjects and lessons. Definitely not by using cheat codes. Mm. You need to plan how to achieve your goals if you want to move forward in school and in life in general. There are times after having developed a plan or strategy, we do not immediately achieve our goals. Another lesson I have learned from these games is the virtue of patience. There are things that happen beyond our control. As human beings, we are not perfect. And sometimes we commit mistakes in trying to achieve our goals. Just like in the games that we play, life has its own twists and turns. No matter what challenges that come your way in pursuing your goals, whether to finish on top of your class or to be the best student in a particular subject, always stay focused and never give up. In every problem that exists in this world, there is always a solution. No matter how long it takes, you will surely get to the finish line. Remember, life is not a race. It is a gift. Enjoy it. Do not rush through it. When we have finished a particular difficult level, we are often confronted with a more difficult level to hurdle. Just like in school and in life, when you have achieved a particular goal, you must aim higher and prepare for greater challenges. In the game of life, 
you just have to keep moving higher. Now, to recap, in order to succeed in this game of life, you must find your purpose. Develop a strategy. Have patience, focus, and perseverance. But you must not forget the most important ingredient. You must learn to put God in the center of your lives, for He is always our key to success, and never forget to ask for His guidance. Now let me end by quoting Psalm 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, and I will counsel you and watch over you. My dear graduates of 2015, let God always be your guide. Congratulations. Thank you, Attorney Shilson, for that very inspiring message and challenge and insight that you have given our graduating class. To show our gratitude and appreciation to our speaker this morning, may I request Dr. Tudor Ciro Bless, our president, Dr. Santos, and our acting principal, Ms. Susan Herga, to present our Certificate of Appreciation. The certificate reads, Central Philippine University Elementary School Certificate of Appreciation presented to Attorney Noel C. Shosan Jr. in recognition of his precious time and ideas he shared to the pupils, guests, faculty, and staff of the Central Philippine University Elementary School during the 86th graduation exercises as guest speaker given this 27th day of March in the year of our Lord 2015 at Central Philippine University, Haro, Iloilo City. Signed, Mrs. Melanie Valencia, Chairperson, Elementary Graduation Committee, Susan C. Herga, Acting Principal, Elementary School, Felipe Chin, Vice President for Academic Affairs, and Chidora C. Robles, President, CPU of this university. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you very much. At this time, we will again see a spe special number. It is very special because this is our very own CPU Elementary School Dance Troupe.
girls. And I would like to add that they are just grade four. So we will be seeing more of them, of these talented girls. Tucson C. Herga, CPU Elementary School Acting Principal, will present to us the candidates for graduation, after which the confirmation of graduates by our president, Dr. Chidoro C. Robles, and the distribution of certificates by their respective class advisors. May we call on our registrar, Ms. Ruth G. Fernandez, and Dr. Carmen P. Santos, our consultant, to assist the distribution of our certificates. The graduates will be called by their section advisors. Let us now start with grade six Excel with their advisor, Mrs. Mary Ann L. Saladar. Will all the candidates for graduation please rise? Honorable President, Dr. Tidoro C. Robles, sir, I have the honor to present to you this academic year 2014-2015, the 139 elementary school candidates for graduation. They have completed the requirements for elementary school prescribed by the university and Department of Education. And they are now entitled and ready to receive their elementary school diploma. The 2014-2015 graduating pupils. By virtue of the authority vested on me, by the Board of Trustees of Central Philippine University and with the confirmation by the Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines, I confer upon you your elementary school certificate with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations, you are now graduates of Central Philippine University. Grade 6 Excel. Let's start with the top 10 of BOTS 2015. Idrosolano Angel Shane Borla, first honors. Angel Shane will receive a university medal to be given by our university president, Dr. Chidora C. Robles. Biso Frederick Mitz Palmares, second honors. Frederick will also receive a university medal to be given by our university president, Dr. Chidoro C. Robles. Candelario Miles Ardonio with honors. Superficial PJ Panes with honors. Ruiz Jerica Charity Akiatan with honors. Lapizar Nizel Yasmin Ortilano with honors. Alfaras Kate Febi Senicero with honors. Latanya Francia Tom Confessor with honors.
Sampiano Lanyel Miles Arlos with honors. Arroyo Kyron Emanuel Bugna with honors. Congratulations, Top 10. Aksai Leo Vincent Castillon, PTA Awardee. Agregado Roger Lloyd Perez. Alfaraz Jade Lorraine Pet Senyosa, PTA Awardee. Balogo Sandy Brian Tahumar. Kabanga Lian Mendez. Kalalo Alexander Habat, PTA RD. Capre Laisa May Cathedral, PTA RD. Coaching Jed Eric Fernandez. Dumamag Jenny Cole Gallo, PTA Award. Fortessa Justine Jan Azuelo. Garcia Alisa Marie Dollar, PTA Award. Timotea Alisa Dane Layo, PTA Award. Lamparero Chela Flor Bugna, PTA Award. Librelia Maui Bien Monares. Palomar Rafsen Rabotazo, PTA Award. Parco Nika Alison Fedila. Sakibal Emen Ray Bascogin, PTA Award. Silobrico Janine Sinoben, PTA Award. Subieri Ira Faith Catalonia, PTA Award. Zamora Tricia May Baptista, PTA Award. Congratulations. Grade six faith will be called by their advisor, Mrs. Melanie Valencia. Grade 6 Faith. 
Basera Richlin Dawn Madriaga. Bantilan Jaira Joan Cadalso. Barola Christopher William Pasaporte. Bilan Leo John Martinez. Binyas Zaimon Kyle Gahe. Kabangal Carla Catherine Suarez. Kachopero Zimri Oriel Balagosa. Kaspe Nisi Giel Leisa. Dilio Cristel Erika Bailon. Junella Jethro Fundal. Espinoza Filea Earl Bilaong. Falsario Rochelle Joy Gaho. Galio Marielle Joyce Galon. Garnica Rachel Ann Rollier. Hinodea Charles Miko Abaya. Guaren Francis Cedric Bulgar. Herrera Joshua Brian Dulos. Hamili Kane Cedric Sebastian. Maralit Jero Andrew Bendia. Paredes Aaron John La Cuesta. Pedregosa Guaynet Falsis. Robles G.N. Giliarcan. Siliares Kinson Hinon. Solatorio Christian Lapido Sumindol Florabel Coronado Torred Ferdily Grace Adriano Tumalay then Lord Dwight Gamarcha. Congratulations. Grade 6 Joy with her advisor, Mrs. Rachel Aldestor. Antonio Cybel Jane Lusabia. Arceo Renaline Joy Swatin.
Batayo Dive Angelo Hisuan. Belia Flores Virgil Kim Salazar. John Bon John Gabriel Espera. Kasiple Kai Louis Chiva. Kunisa Christine Joy Gabukai. De Leon Kain Gabriel Araneta. Dihando Jerin Paul Bahada. Doligosa Max Andre Haro. Doligosa Ilardo Lydell Balmes. Galisim Natalie and Chilak Larie Sanaisai. Gregorio Von Elmar Sikad. Jaime Marian Durado. Ligada Luke Tatang. Mainar, Sara Daniel Haranilia, PTA Awardee. Malones, Brianna Faye Duque. Mino Daradain Toreno. Miranda Roy Marvin Roldan II. Mirasol Angela Marie Di Torre. Pablero Amon Carl Iao. Pamplona Demiros Castaño. Piliora Jill Sander Davis, Athlete of the Year. Solidad, J. Nicolas Daniel Cahaban. Solivas, Rosibel Gunita. Wada Carl Luis Hamelo Taran Sela Grace Santa Lucia Valenzuela Daniel Patricia Tejereso Congratulations, Joy. Grade 6 Hope with our advisor, Mr. Bernardo Villarreal.
Grade 6 Hope, Akoba Carvens Cathedral. Alminaza Rob John Brillantes. Andrada Riza Hope Gonzalez. Articona David Hervero. Baaya Zoe Marie Poblacion. Bussel Erlen Marie Luig. Cabra Danica Bora. Castellano Churchill Bicodo. De La Cruz Joseph Andrian Dayot. Estapon Eden Gria Castillo. Estilo Elijah James Morales. Franco Janice Sardinia. Gregorio Shiname Palincia. Harjo Hans Oliver Gabito. Holyaga James Patrick Pineda. Holyaga Josh Vincent Pineda. Linear Therese Angela Sihor, PTA Awarding. Manayon Eliza Rose Disana. Nivales Mary Florence Garcia. Nivales Mary Francine Garcia. Nunez Ricky John Didoroy. Piña Fiel Kenny John Bonete. Rico Maverick Halbuena. Rivero Jan Andre Bilisana. Sargado Jos La Chica. Sulatra Christopher John Obispo. Tadi Albert Manuel Bordon. Tandog Nilia Moore Hoven. Congratulations, Grade 6 Hope. Grade 6 Love, with her advisor, Mrs. Rochelle K. Agrasada. Grade 6 Love, Adorante Pioni Bell Macero. Basa Simon Wilkes Escalada. Batalliones Joe Murray Ledesma. B. 
Vigidor, Kishabel Almirante. Braza, Kalmark Ataban. Caballero, Mark Lester Bacos. Cabardo, Edgar Joseph Venser. Caldito, Ron Xavier Magno. Caluyo, Gian Lorraine Ambrose. Deliomes, Senya Marie Gaitan. Dumdum Brain Preston. Escucha Patricia Isabella Catedral. Espinosa Francine May de Montano. Fabiania Evangeline Carion. Valdas Roland Dave Makiran. Lagradilia Irvi Alexa Evangelista. Lisa Phil Bennett Parenas. Luhan Maya Dian Robles. Nava Giancarlo Hinoveza. Panes Lorene Ondai. Pano Josh Robert Dibantino. Sir Ball Jan Renan Orchaga. Suelo Shan Gabriel. Sumaray Idea Tuarez. Dante Shikaina. Torres Gabriel Fuente Bella. Grade 6 love, congratulations. May we request the top 10 graduates to please come up stage for your surprise award. award is from Dr. Carmen P. Santos, our CPU Elementary School Consultant. Santos. Congratulations, awardees. At this time, we will hear another special number from Engineer Mary Ann Soto Santiago.
At this time, Angel Shane B. Drasolano, first honor, CPU Elementary School, batch 2014-2015, will give the response on behalf of the graduates. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Before I commence my speech, I would first like to thank my family especially my mom, who came a long way from Bacolod City. I would also like to thank my friends and teachers. Without any of you, I would not be here where I am today. Without your help, I would not have been given this chance to represent the class of 2015. Today is a memorable day for all of us because we have just ended an episode in our lives, our elementary school life. Now, we are about to start a new chapter of our journey to high school. But let me rewind all the memories I've experienced in this school. When I first came to this school, I was a little bit nervous. I thought I wouldn't have friends because I was a transferee. When I introduced myself, I was completely shy that I can't even utter a single word. But as the years passed, the trials became a little bit harder than before. I had fun, but I also encountered a lot of tribulations. I always smiled, but I can't avoid my tears. But all of my experiences, the easy ones and the hard ones, led me here. Because all of us learn from our past, right? So all the things that happened are part of God's wonderful plan. I faced all of them because I know whatever challenges would confront me, I can't skip that, I can't stop it. All of it was meant for me from God. And it's actually normal, that's life. Now, I also consider this as a new challenge, a kind of challenge getting over my elementary life. I know it won't be that easy to move on for being a Centralian for six long years. 
I will always remember this school, my teachers, my classmates, schoolmates, for all the memories. My life would be incomplete if my parents didn't let me study here. In this school, I learned so many lessons, so many thoughts. And even though I may be transferring, I will always have the part in my heart, the central spirit. I imagine that you're excited at graduating, a little scared of going to high school, and sad about saying goodbye to friends and teachers, and excited about the summer. I also felt the same way when I was eight. Jose Rizal once said, the youth is the hope of the motherland. We studied in Central Philippine University so we could be equipped with adequate knowledge and skills and preparation for, for important roles we have to play in society someday. And most especially, to turn into reality the prophecy of our national hero that we, indeed, can be the hope of our beloved country, the Philippines. Now, I could simply say that we are empowered and productive students who could face new challenges towards new horizon. For I believe that we are now equipped with the things we need through our alma mater. Everything in this world has a beginning. In our case, we have just accomplished the beginning. We have started the first right move. Hence, there is no reason why we should fall in our future undertakings. So let me speak to you now about the most wonderful journey. Let me share to you some of the secrets to success. The first is growth. The next years of your life will determine your future. Make the next years one of growth. Embrace growth. Find out what you are good at. Find out what you like to do. And then grow. Practice, because if you practice, you can be anything you want to be. While you are at it, do not be afraid to fail. Let me also tell you more about failure, because it is important in growing. We all know Michael Jordan, right? He is the greatest basketball player of all time. Michael Jordan missed more than 9,000 shots in his career, lost almost 300 games, and missed 26 winning shots. He failed over and over again, but that is why he is the greatest basketball player in the world. The second is generosity. You have to be generous, even overly generous, because when you give, you release a powerful blessing and it embraces you. And last but not the least, faith in God. God is the power and source of all things. He is the reason why we are all here. He is our stronghold, and He loves us more than we know. So let me end with my prayer and wish for all of you. In your life, may you have people who will listen and spend time with you, encourage you and believe in you. The journey is long and laden with thorns, but our accomplishments in this school are very rewarding. The patience and dedication each of us has shown throughout our six years in elementary are those that made us heroes like Jose Rizal. And this morning, we are here to graduate as a, unite, as a united whole. Parents, invited guests, teachers, and students of the graduating class of 2015, thank you for listening attentively. Without you all, we won't be marching on this day. Again, my congratulations. Thank you, Angel Shane, for that response. At this time, Dr. Diadem Pearl is S. Ikenia, President of CPU Elementary School Alumni Association, will welcome the new members of the association and lead them in the, their elementary alumni pledge. Every year, the CPU Elementary School Alumni Association holds a search for the CPU Elementary School Alumni Awardee from the top 10 pupils of the graduating class. The awardee is selected based on the pupil's performance in academics, extracurricular activities, interview, and essay. And this morning, it is my pleasure to announce this year's recipient of the award by reading this certificate. 
Central Philippine University Elementary School Alumni Association, Haro Ililu City, Philippines. CPU Elementary School Alumni Award is awarded to Miles A. Candelario. For exemplifying the ideals of CP Elementary School as a Christian institution which promotes exemplary Christian education for life. Given this 27th day of March in the year of our Lord 2015, signed by myself as President, CP Elementary School Alumni Association, Susan C. Herga, Acting Principal, CP Elementary School. Dr. Felice G. Molina, President of the CPU Alumni Association, Incorporated, and Dr. Chidoro C. Robles, President, Central Philippine University. May I request Dr. Robles, please, and Ms. Herga, as well as Dr. Chin and Bogasha, to assist in giving this um, award. Also, may I request Dr. Santos to help in the giving of the certificate. Along with the certificate is a cash award, which, who, which is given by Dr. Maria Liza Duremdes Nava, the first recipient of the award. Now may I request the graduating class to please rise. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Today, I have become an alumna or alumnus of the Central Philippine University. I am proud to have graduated from the CP Elementary School. I know I have a sacred duty to keep alive the central spirit. Let me be faithful to the noble ideals that CPU stands for. Let me exercise a sense of service to the least of Christ's brethren so that through me, CPU's light of faith may permeate this darkened world. May never forget what it means to have lived and studied and grown at CPU. Today, before God, family, and friends, I commit myself to hold high the torch of my alma mater and keep it burning. Congratulations and welcome to the CP Elementary School Alumni Association. God bless you all. Thank you, Dr. Kinya. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome once again our graduates, CPU Elementary School, Batch 2014-2015, as they render on stage their graduation song.
Thank you, graduates, for that beautiful song. Yes, indeed, only God knows what lies ahead of you, and this is just a chapter if you, in your life that you have succeeded. Remember Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So, Trust in God, coupled with hard work, will bring you success. Once again, let us give our graduates a round of applause. At this time, we're going to sing our alma mater song, Central My Central, to be conducted by Mr. Rodrigo J. Soto, our faculty member. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Uh, our hearts are filled with gratitude, especially for these graduates. We thank you for giving each of them talents, abilities, and self-discipline required for this wonderful accomplishment. We are grateful to you for providing the teachers, mentors, counselors who have taught them, nurtured them, and challenged them along the way. Now that their minds have been well equipped, with a basic knowledge of many different subjects. We pray that their hearts and spirit will also be well equipped as they move up to high school or to grade seven. Add heavenly wisdom and discernment to their knowledge. Infuse their ambition and dreams with your love. Help them to desire your good way for the future. Grant them your blessing and attend to them with your presence that they may grow up to love whatsoever things that are true pure and lovely and of good report. Remind them that you are only a prayer away, especially when they meet obstacles and heartbreaks and challenges. May they truly experience your promise that you will never leave them nor forsake them, that indeed you are by the side and you are in their hearts. May they always be courageous enough to ask for help, advice, and support when they need it. May they never needlessly suffer alone without reaching out to you and to others who care. Help them to learn the secret of dependence on you. Give them a desire and hunger to know you more. May they find you in the scriptures and in the joy of you love, in the beauty of your creation, and in the strength of their youth. We also include in our prayers that you grant their parents and teachers understanding and selfless devotion that we may be faithful in fulfilling our responsibilities to them. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Shall we give our graduates and the parents and the faculty a resounding loud applause Indeed, a job well done. To God be the glory. 
shall we remain standing for the exit of colors and for the recessional. Elementary School faculty and staff wish to express our thanks to the beloved parents of our pupils, to the top officials of our university, especially to our beloved president, Dr. Teodoro C. Robles, and to our supportive consultant, Dr. Carmen P. Santos, and to all who in one way or another have helped make this graduation program 2014-2015 possible and a meaningful one. A million thanks to everyone. God bless us all. the teachers, the faculty, to please get ready for the picture taking. Our guests are requested to stay for our picture taking. <laughs> 